Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 27th, 2020. So today we have Tiger's Eye Courage. I absolutely love, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I love that this card is in here because what we've been talking about for so many days takes a lot of courage. Tiger's Eye is also very perceptive or helps you be perceptive and it's very protective as well. Giving clarity of thought. Think of Archangel Michael. Think of your solar plexus and how you shine out in the world and feeling safe enough to be who you are. Now, for some of you on a very, you know, like Monday, when I say mundane, it's like like the human level, okay? Maybe you are expressing who you are, whatever. Whatever you've been hiding about yourself. I am this, I am that. That does get into labels, I personally am not a fan of labels. So when people want me to define myself as this or that for their comfort and understanding, I tend to back away from that. You do what is right for you. But this Tiger's Eye Courage card is saying, don't be afraid to go after things that will make you happy, right? <laughs> if um, if you feel like you don't have time to, I don't know, like study the making of chocolate. I'm only saying that because I went through that phase actually. And I have a book <laughs> sitting on my bookshelf. At, what is it called? The Chocolate Companion. I can't see that far away what, who the author is, but I went through this whole phase where you know I wanted to study chocolate and how is it made and what what are the differences and you know all that stuff. So if you think you don't have time for something that could really awaken your passion, or maybe for you you want to learn about wine or you know whatever, make the time. Make the time. Have courage to get out there and say, you know what, I'm going to take this little time out for me every single day. Courage also has to do with setting boundaries. Okay, um, and and honing how to do that. I know that's a journey I'm on. Uh, I went from being very very controlled and in abusive situations that I shared with my audience that I've been through those situations so often that I thought they were normal. And every time a new relationship would get going, I kind of lived in very very shaky fear and just waiting for the person to start in on me. And then when I started my healing process, part of that was really having to deprogram what I saw. If you hear that, we're having a windstorm yet again. <laughs> I don't know if that'll pick up on the mic, but it's loud. Um, but I really had to deprogram myself about who, what, what does being powerful and healthy really mean? Because I never had an example of that. Not really, <laughs> right? The powerful people were the ones who were the controlling ones. And so I had this moment in the recovery where I thought, well, okay, it's my turn now. It, you know, I'm going to take control of this now. And then it became overbearing and defensive, right? Having a short fuse. That might be the Scorpio in me too. I don't know. I have Mercury in Scorpio and I have Mars in Scorpio. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it has a little to do with that. But what I'm getting at here is that we have to have the courage to face ourselves and go, okay, maybe it's time now to switch that up. That was where I was. That's how I had to heal. I'm learning, right? And now it's time to go to the next level. And don't be afraid to do that. And if people come along and say, I don't even know who you are anymore, say thank you. I'm growing. Why don't you try it? <laughs> <All right? laughs> Instead of keeping everybody uh, in place and, and you know getting in the way of their growth just because it makes you uncomfortable, why don't you have courage and get out there and try a different version of you on. You know what I mean? And I don't mean like step into a fake persona or something like that. That's so 2012 of us, right? Um, and much further back than that. <laughs> but this is having the courage to be your authentic self and to explore what that means and to acknowledge, okay, I'm, I've made mistakes. That takes a lot of courage too. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.